we're just going to take a look at the two graphs for the car um, and go through and explain some of the points from it. The first graph you can see on the screen at the moment is the stock ECU graph. Um, so this is 673 horsepower, um, 565 pounds feet of torque. Um, you can see the graph isn't particularly smooth, uh, still making crazy power for a stock ECU. Um, but again, look at the, the sort of divots and the sort of dents in the curve, um, especially in the torque curve. You can see it's, um, it's sort of dropping off in places. Um, if we look at the second graph now, this is on the, the link. So this is fitting a map by us. Um, you can see that we make 682 horsepower, 577 pounds feet. So we make sort of nine extra horsepower and over sort of 12 torque. So quite a big step up in terms of power. But the main thing you can see is how much smoother the curve is. Um, if you look at the torque curve, you've not got these big dents in the torque curve. It's a much smoother, much more progressive torque curve. Um, the car drives completely differently, um, especially at slow speeds. Um, you notice the, the link is significantly smoother um, than what you get with the stock ECU. It's amazing when you think about the, you know, the Lynx an aftermarket product. It's not designed by Mitsubishi or anything. So um, it's a massive improvement in how the car drives. And obviously, you've made more power because of it. Um, but really, the key improvement with this car is how much smoother it is um, and how much more progressive the power delivery is.